This is Josh Friedman in Pristina, Kosovo. Today is February 17th, which makes it Independence Day here in Kosovo. Nine years ago to the day, Kosovo declared independence from Serbia. Serbia, though, still does not recognize Kosovo's independence, and just a month ago, the Serbian government sent a passenger train toward Kosovo that had the words Kosovo is Serbia painted on it in more than 20 languages. That incident ended up being settled without any violence, but it shows that tensions are still very high in the reason region, and not only does Serbia not recognize Kosovo's independence, but Serbia's buddy Russia does not as well, at least uh, they are political buddies. Russia offers political support for Serbia, and largely because of that, Kosovo is not recognized as a country by the United Nations, but Kosovo is um, gaining more and more standing in the world community, albeit slowly. The new U.S. President Donald Trump, who was not the preferred candidate here in Kosovo, that was Hillary Clinton. The Clintons are renowned and beloved here in Kosovo. Well, anyway, Hillary Clinton lost the election to Trump, and there's been some concern about how Trump would view Kosovo, but he is recognizing Kosovo's independence and has congratulated Kosovo on Independence Day. Now, with regard to Trump, you take a look at the uh, newborn sign here in Kosovo. You see there are some missing letters. It is tradition that on Independence Day, an artist or artist alter the sign. Well, this year it has been altered so that it says no you can see the N, the O, no walls. Now, you could take that possibly as a statement that Trump, Trump's immigration policies, which have been protested lately in the United States, that he or his policies might be a threat to Kosovo and Kosovo's independence and way of life. Now, that, that's one way of taking it, but there is another issue surrounding a wall or the concept of a wall here in Kosovo, and to get a better understanding of that, we are going to head to the city of Mitrovica, where we will be discussing a certain wall, or lack thereof, and what exactly are some of the threats beyond a wall and beyond recognition? What are some of the threats to Kosovo's independence? I will see you in Mitrovica. As opposed to Trump's planned border wall, what is most likely being referenced on the newborn sign right now in Pristina is this that is behind me. I am at the edge of the Mitrovica Bridge, which I have discussed in depth in another video that divides the city of Mitrovica from or uh, between the Albanian side on the south and the Serb side on the north. As you can see, traffic, there, there's the bridge is now reopened to foot traffic. There's been EU refurbishment project going on. Well, now it's open to foot traffic, but vehicles still cannot cross into the north side. And recently, there was a wall erected here by the Serbs. That wall has since been demolished under an EU brokered agreement, but a fence remains, and that's going to probably come up in future discussions between Belgrade and Pristina. Now, as for Independence Day, um, 
let's discuss a little bit about Kosovo's independence or possibly lack thereof. Uh, maybe instead of a wall or a fence being the barrier to independence, there are other aspects and other issues that are deeper problems within Kosovo's system of governance that could be a strain on the newborn country's independence. And to discuss this issue, I'm going to bring in my friend Arbnor. How are you doing? How are you? Hello. I'm doing pretty well. Now, uh, you can you tell me briefly uh, a little bit about your story? You grew up here in the city of Mitrovica, is that correct? Yes, I grew up in the city of Mitrovica, in the southern port. But uh, when I was child, child, everyone, every adult said me that you cannot go with the northern port. There is danger, there is not a place for children. They, also the K4 forces, they, they stop the children and the older people to cross the bridge and to go there. But uh, now you do cross back and forth and tell me about that, or do you? Now, for now, yes, we do cross the bridge sometimes freely, but no in those days, like in the Independence Day. Because the Serbs think they, they, this is a, a provocation. And for that, it's danger to cross the bridge in time where, uh, in those times, for example, for, for the Independence Day or the national, uh, uh, national holidays, like, uh, like the Albanian uh, Flag Day and also other. Now, regarding independence, there's a major issue in Kosovo politics, and that is the creation or the possible creation of a military or an army. Can you tell me a little bit about that, and how does the constitution affect whether or not an army will be created? Our constitution created in 2008, right after the independence, uh, says that Kosovo it has no military, but it has only a Kosovo security force, that it has no more members than 2,000 soldiers. But, uh, and, that, uh, and every change of the constitution needs two-thirds of the votes of the other minorities, including the votes of the Serbian minority. They are 10 dep deputies on the uh, Kosovo parliament, and they said they will no vote for the uh, forming of the military of Kosovo. So how realistic do you think, um, how good of a chance is there that Kosovo actually will get its own military? Uh, our, uh, it's, it's very difficult because the Serbians are affected very much from the Belgrade and they say they, uh, they will never vote for the uh, military forming of Kosovo, but because the, that military is danger for the civilian popula population in the northern part of Mitrovica. But uh, some signs say that the uh, association with, uh, of the uh, Serbian municipalities in Kosovo will, uh, will, uh, will be related with, with the forming of army with uh, some conditions, for example... Now, hold on one second. The, the association, now that is a plan for there to be some form of uh, association or union of governments in the Serb areas of Kosovo, Kosovo do of I Kosovo. have that correct? Yes, is that correct? Then, and uh, our leaders will, will, uh, will make this possible only when the Serbian deputies will vote for the forming of the military of Kosovo. In those uh, conditions, yes, it might have hope, have hope to form the military. Different conditions, no. Now what about these negotiations between Serbia and Kosovo that are brokered by the European Union and uh, this fence and what used to be the the wall and before that when I last visited the, the peace park was here. How does that affect the negotiations? The negotiations uh, decide uh, uh, everything in this port of Kosovo is decided in Brussels. Nothing can, uh, nobody can decide uh, alone for this, uh, for this port. Nobody can decide for revitalization of the bridge, or nobody can decide of the uh, uh, building uh, walls or fences. Only in Brussels, when a, when a wall is was built by uh, Serbian authorities, the Brussels uh, agreement said that no wall it. It was uh, in, uh, in negotiations, and that ball is now, uh, is now 
uh, inexistent and uh, for the moment it's only a fence that we hope we, that we hope they're gonna remove. Now why is it that Brussels can dictate how things play out here in Mitrovica? It's Brussels the only only place when when two ports can dialogue because they don't want to talk uh, to each other without conditions. Brussels set conditions to, to both ports and for that and for that they are uh, uh, discussing only in Bruxelles and Bruxelles is deciding about Mitrovica and about its bridge and about the, its two, uh, two uh, ethnic groups. So from my understanding, uh, this continued conflict with the bridge and the wall or fence is quite representative of a couple issues that are restraining Kosovo's independence. One, the constitution restricts Kosovo from having a military and you can argue that a country is not independent if it cannot defend itself. I mean, that's one argument without getting into the merits of Kosovo's independence. And the other being that I guess because of Kosovo's desire to join the European Union, uh, there is to some extent no, or there is very little sovereignty. That's a word you used before, right? Yes, that's right. Because without a military, we cannot make sovereign. We cannot. Uh, we cannot be sovereign in all our territory, in northern port and in uh, other ports of Kosovo. Exactly uh, controlling the borders without a military is impossible. Now for now, bo our borders are controlled by K4 troops, but not from our troops. So to me at least, it seems that rather than a wall or a physical barrier being what's most prohibitive of freedom and independence in Kosovo, there are actually structural problems in how the country was set up nine years ago. Yes, uh, more, more difficulties is our, in our uh, own constitution than in, uh, in the Mitrovica, because the Mitrovica case will be, uh, will be chosen only by the constitution and by the law, but the law, uh, but the law restricts actions actions to uh, to Mitrovica and to get sovereignty in all our parts of territory. I appreciate all of the insights and follow Menderi. Follow Menderi to the Juve. Okay, that's a wrap from uh, the Mitrovica bridge where there's some noise, there are some motorcycles. Maybe there will be some action in whatever case that I see something, I'll try to capture some footage for you. But if not, I will just be cutting to some footage of the 9th Kosovo Independence Day celebrations in Pristina.